I'm a cold teasing Christ. I'm cold teasing. Blessings, sisters. How is everybody that are here today? Praise the Lord. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. He is so worthy. How are you, Sister Gwen? So good to see you, sis. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. Blessing Sunset Creations, Diana, how are you, sis? How you doing? Hello, Sheila, how are you? Oh, no, don't apologize. All you did was put an A instead of E. That's nothing. <laughs> so I appreciate you. Hey, Sister Lisa, blessings to everyone. Shalom to you all. Thank you for being here on this day. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it because we have so much to be grateful for, right? Every day is a day to give the Lord thanks. Every moment, we should keep him on our minds. Keeping our minds stayed on Jesus because he is so worthy. He's so worthy to be praised. And I'm just so grateful to the Lord. Thank you, Lord, on this Wednesday. What they call this day, hump day. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We're in the middle of the week. Just about, really. <laughs> but I'm so grateful to see this day. Oh, thank you, sis. Thank you so much, sis Glenn. Y'all know my... I'll be trying to make it over there sometimes, sis, if I'm woke. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But thank the Lord for all that he's doing and those that are sharing the love of Jesus. And that's what it's about. We want to share the love of Jesus and represent him on our channels and allow him to get the glory out of our lives because, you know, he done so much for us. He's been so good to us and we have so much to be grateful for. So hallelujah to that. Thank you, Lord. The scripture I wanted to share with y'all, Psalms 3.3, 3, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. He is our shield. He is our protector. So why do we even worry about anything? Why do we allow the enemy to suppress us and depress us and get us down? It's so easy. It's so easy to walk in this flesh, but we need to walk in the spirit. And in order to truly walk in the spirit is to 
hide his word in our heart because he said when we hide his word in our heart that we won't sin against him and if we meditate on his word day and night it make it so much easier to walk in that spirit in the spiritual man instead of the fleshly man because when you're meditating on what meditating on television shows or things that are not edifying you then it's so much easier to walk in the flesh. I'm working, but listen, I know you're working. I figured you was. I appreciate that so much, sis. I really do. Thank you. Blessings to you. Blessings. Thank you so much. Hey, sis T. How are you? Amen. Praise God. Yes. Amen. How are you doing? Blessings to you. Thank you for coming in, sis. How is everything going with you and everybody here? How are you? How has the Lord blessed you on today? Any prayer requests, praise report? Let me know. I want to hear it all so we can be praying. Thank the Lord for my sis. Hopefully she'll be over here soon. The Lord brought her through surgery, so Lord's willing, she can share that on the next, um, when she's able to do her live. So the Lord is good. He's such a protector. Doing great, sis. How are you? Amen. Yes, truly blessed. Truly blessed. The Lord has been truly good. <laughs> yes, got in the bed early this morning again, but I had a lot of orders I had to get done. So thank the Lord for that. Thank the Lord for that. Had to get those orders finished. So a lot of times it's hard to try to get things done when the babies are woke. They keep you busy. So it's easy to get things done when they finally sleep. <laughs> so thank the Lord. He's so good. And he just got me up this morning. I feel great. So I'm happy about that. Oh, he's so good. Victory in Jesus, right? Victory in Jesus. Psalms 28, 7 says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. And with my song, will I praise him? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So my strength and my shield. He is my strength. He is my shield. How many of you can say that today? that he is your strength and he is your shield and that your heart trusts in him. Do we truly trust in the Lord? Doing well, sis. I won't complain. Amen. No. What my uncle, what my uncle would say, if I did complain, it ain't going to do me no good. <laughs> so true. It ain't going to do me no good. Complaining just make things worse. So amen. Amen. And the Lord is definitely our strength and our shield. And we have to truly know that if we put our trust in him, that he's our help. Our help with the song say, our help coming from the Lord. That's so true. Our help coming from the Lord. And I'm so grateful that we can truly say he is our help. Yes. Amen. Hey, Sister Key. How are you, sis? How you doing? So good to see you. How was work? I know that um, you work in these awkward shifts, sis. But thank you so much for coming in here. Blessings to you. Blessings, Tina. Thank you for coming in. How are you? Thank you, everyone that are here. Thank you, all eight of you that are actually nine. Nine now. Thank you, all nine that are here. Don't forget to thumbs me up. I appreciate you. Hey, Sister Lena. <laughs> How are you? Thank you so much for checking up on me the other day. Such a blessing. Yeah, I just such a blessing. Just to have sisters in your life that just loves you and supports you and care about you. I am just so grateful for you all. I'm good. Still in the bed, but I'm here. <laughs> I know, sis. I probably would still be in the bed to myself, but I know you're working. So, yes, try to get you some rest. You're here. Just 
allow the Lord to just speak to your heart. So thank you, Lord Jesus. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. I appreciate you all. So we want to make sure that when we're putting our heart, our trust in him, that, you know, as the scripture says, our heart greatly rejoices. And with our song, we will praise him. So it doesn't matter what you sound like. Sing a song unto the Lord and praise him, for he is worthy to be praised. He said, with my song, will I praise him? Hallelujah. Yes, I'm great and you're welcome. Um, yes, hallelujah. Did you get your book yet, Lena? Says, I don't know if you got your book yet, but it's been shipped. So hopefully you'll get it if you haven't gotten it yet. Hopefully you'll get it. So we want to just continue to walk by faith. In order to truly, truly say these scriptures, you have to walk by faith. You have to walk by faith and know that the Lord is real. Know that he is good and he is worthy to be praised. And you also have to, when you walk by faith, that'll help you put your trust in the Lord. And you know, the scripture lets us know that when we submit to the Father, Yah, our Elohim, when we submit to him and resist the devil, you know that the devil will have to flee. But you have to submit unto the Lord. And when you submit to him, and it takes faith to submit to him. It takes faith to believe in the word and trust in the Lord. And I just thank the Lord that he gives us all a measure of faith. We all have that measure of faith. And whatever measure of faith he has given you, you activate that faith. And I'm always praying, Lord, increase my faith. Help my unbelief. When I do have those times where I, I don't believe or um, worry try to hit me, help down my unbelief, Lord. Help me to truly walk by faith and trust you with my whole heart and lead not to my own understanding, but in all my ways, help me to truly acknowledge you because you promise in your word when I do that, that you will direct my path and I have to walk by faith and trust that. Because the scripture lets us know that without faith, it is impossible to please him. It said it's impossible. So we have to have faith. That small grain of mustard seed faith, that is even enough. But I want more. I want more faith. I want more, more, more. Jesus, more of you i want so much more jesus more 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 lord i need more i need more of him i don't know that i had my mouth put oh excuse me put on hold but I was away from home for a few days but I'm going to the post office today to pick my mail up okay okay so prayerfully it is in the mail it is on hold so please let us know let us know praise the Lord hallelujah we want more of the Lord because you know when we activate our faith the scripture lets us know that when we come into God, we must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. We have to know that and remember that, that he rewards us when we diligently seek him. We want to seek his face. We want to praise him. We want to bless him. We want him to get all the glory out of our lives. And we just thank the Lord for being so worthy because we know that the trial of our faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. Our faith, the, the trying of our faith is more precious than gold that perishes. Though the scripture says it be tried by fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Mm -mm -mm. 
And that right there is an encouragement of itself. That Lord, when we go through those trying times, <laughs> I have to remember that I'm being tried with fire. That I might be found <laughs> unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what I want. That's my desire. That's my desire. And Lord, I know that you will keep me during those trying times. Because I know that it comes to make me stronger. It comes to build me up. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over. Yes, Lord, fill us up, Jesus. Fill us up, Lord. We want more and more of you, Father. We want you to get the glory out of our lives, Lord Jesus. Lord, cleanse us, Father, of all unrighteousness. Have thy own way in our lives. Lord, get the glory, Father. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes, I'm thinking of this of the same song. Fill me up, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Fill us up. Amen, sis T. So that was just dropped. That just dropped in my spirit too. Like, Lord, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Fill us up. I'm trying to stay close to the mic because my son is asleep. And I'm in the same room with him. Y'all know how that is. You don't want to wake your baby up. Oh, so thank you, Lord. He is so good. He is so good. Thank you, Jesus. Sorry, I had a phone call. That's okay, says Diana. It's okay. I understand. Hallelujah. I always as in prayer. I'm sorry. I always as in prayer for God to help me love as he loves and forgive as he forgives. And, and increase my faith. Amen. As, okay, I got you. I always ask in prayer. Yes, amen. Amen. Such a beautiful prayer. And yes, I'm always saying, Lord, help me to love what you love and hate what you hate. <laughs> yes, that's beautiful. Help us to love as you love Jesus. Because he see beyond what the flesh can see. He said he don't judge as men judge, you know. We can judge by, oh, look at the way they look. They dirty. They but you know what? Just like um who was it? The the rich young ruler and was his name Lazarus, I believe, that begged for the crumbs and everything. Um, the story that Jesus told, and he was poor. But yet, he loved the Lord. He had a love for the Father. And, you know, people look at him like, look at you. You dirty. You nasty. Uh, yeah, what, what? who do you serve? Like, you're, you're nobody. We all are nobodies, <laughs> honestly. But yet, look, at the end, the rich young ruler was on the, on the unrighteous side. And... The poor man was on the righteous side. Mm. So that lets you know that, you know, we can't just judge like that. We have to pray for people and love on people because you never know. The people that you think going to make it in, they be the one you don't see. And the one you think they're not going to make it in. You're like, what? I didn't expect you to be here. So I always sow those, sow those seeds of righteousness Pray for others, help others. Just as Jesus said, as you've done unto the least of these, you have done unto me. So you do your part on this side of heaven. Do your part. Allow the Lord to use you. We all want to be 
willing and usable vessels unto the most high God. Hallelujah. I'm good. How are you? Blessings. Yes. Good. Amen. The Lord is good and worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord. Amen. Sis Lovely. Right. Let them sleep, Father. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Sis T, you like, I know. <laughs> Let them sleep. Give them, Lord, give them that extra peaceful sleep. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. You're so good. Yes, amen. He is so worthy. He is so worthy. And I'm so grateful for all of y'all that are here and just want to take the time to just bless the Lord and praise his name and give him the glory because he deserves it, y'all. We about to go into prayer because after here, we're going to go over to our sister, One Virtuous Woman, and we're going to tag along with this prayer along. If I watch TV, it's pure flicks. Yes, Diana. Yes, Pure Flix does have some good movies. I don't watch a lot of this stuff. I know they started, um, they have like a lot of Catholic things in there. And some things I'm like, what? What in the world? But they have, they do have some good things. And um, my children love, um, what is that? That Bible series? Um, I can't even think of it right now. The one where the children go to the, um, like, go back to the past and they see all the things that's gone. Superbook, that's the name of it. My children love Superbook. <laughs> they love Superbook. But I don't know if any one of y'all has seen um, the movies by the Kendrick Brothers. I would say all of their movies are really, really good. And this last one that they did overcomer it's a really good no not overcomer overcomer was good is it overcome yeah overcomer with the, the the young girl was um running track that was a beautiful beautiful movie i watched that with hubby and then I, we watched it with the children <laughs> so on the sabbath they sat down and watched it on the sabbath and it was good. I try to find little things for them to um, look at and watch on the Sabbath. So um, they won't be trying to watch other little things, like little little cartoons and stuff. But yes, um, we try to keep, keep it more of, you know, watching more praise music, worship music, and... Um, things that's related to the Lord. We do that throughout the week, but, you know, especially on the Sabbath, um, we try to really focus on that more. So thank you, Jesus. We're about to go into prayer. Yes, I've seen their movies. My favorite was War Room. Yes, War Room was, mm, 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 that was beautiful. Did you see the new one? I don't know, between War Room and this one, Overcomers. That's that's a really hard one. That's a really hard one. Did you see one room? Yes, I seen I seen all their movies. I seen all their movies. And I just pray, man, my baby sister was saying this. Like really pray for them. Um, I really pray for them because their movies, I can truly say compared to like some of the other ones, they keep it so biblically based. No compromise in there. All of them, they make sure that their their um staff is covered up. You know, they make sure they keep it even with like the husband and wife scenes is very pure. You know, you don't feel any way about it when it comes down to the children watching it. You know, like some of them, they just like okay, <laughs> but you know, they keep it so pure. And I love that. I love that about their movies and their how they structure everything and how the end goes. It's just, it's beautiful. So, sis, Lena, please. And, oh, T, you haven't seen it? <laughs> if y'all think War Room was the best one out of all their movies, you have to see Overcomer. If y'all if y'all like War Room that much, 
I really couldn't rate. Uh, they they closed. They closed. Overcomers was so beautiful. So beautiful. And it just is it, really a good, good movie. Really good movie. So if you haven't seen it, please see it. I will watch it again. <laughs> like we watched it more than once already. But I will look at it again. I already have it saved on the Roku. <laughs> so. Oh, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. But let me go into prayer. Remember, after here, we want to go over to our sister, one virtuous woman. Y'all know we be having a blessed time over there. Such a blessed time. So she's probably getting some rest. So I'm going to let her sleep because she is a serious night owl. So I'm praying that she wakes up <laughs> in time for her prayer. So I have to check up on her to make sure. But hallelujah, if anybody has prayer requests, please put it down in the chat. I just checked my front door and had a package there. It's my book. Oh, praise the Lord. Look at the Lord. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. That is so good. Sister Lena, have you seen Compass yet? Compass. That sounds familiar. Let me write that down. Diana, for some reason that sounds familiar. If y'all can think of any other biblical based movies, please let me know because we definitely look, you know, look for try to look for those type of movies. It's some movies I did see on Pure Flix. Ah, I wish I could think of it. It was one, it was really good. Or was it or was it here on YouTube? No, I think it was on YouTube. I think it was here on YouTube. I can't think of that movie, but it was really good. And the, how the guy continued to show love to those people, like anybody else would have been like, you know what? Forget it. They beat him up and everything. But in the end of that movie, the Lord got the glory because the guy who um had that that he kept witnessing to to try to tell him about the Lord and the guy didn't want to hear him and he still was like being a light and people was calling him crazy and like why are you still you know talking to this guy but the guy ended up going to jail because he was like one of the guys that beat him up or whatever and he went and visited him in jail and the guy was like why would you visit me in jail and they thought that he was going to die but the Lord spared his life and he was like why would you visit me in jail and I did you know, I did all that, beat you up and stuff. And he had a Bible and gave him the Bible. And he started coming and visiting him. And the guy started reading the Bible. Oh, I thought that was so beautiful. Just how the, how the Lord just, you just never know how the Lord work things out, you know. Just, that was awesome. That, that you know, the guy ended up getting saved and reading the word. And it had to take all that to happen. It was crazy. Amen and amen. No, I haven't. I'll write it down so I can check it out. Yes. Yes, let's write it down. If you have um if you have what is it? The 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 Amazon thing, the stick, the, the Amazon stick. I don't know. I don't have that. I have Roku. So I know some people said they watch it on Amazon. Um Prime. I believe Amazon Prime, Showtime, Amazon Prime. Or if you have um we have the Roku, but it's the, uh, what's the thing my husband has? I can't think of it. I don't watch, I don't watch TV, so, um, I forget what stuff is, but only time I watch some of it's like, you know, biblical based or something like that, but I don't watch TV. I'm just not in the TV no more. Um, it is awesome. Yes. Oh, the, that movie Compass. It sounds familiar. I have to look it up. I have to look it up. I've probably seen it. Um, prayer request. Hubby still struggling. Going to his job. Please pray that God show him the best way to move forward. Yes. Yes, sis. I will be praying. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. I know the Lord is going to work it out. I know he is. And, you know, just like the Lord's working things out for my hubby and everything. You know, we just got to pray for our husbands. Pray for our men. I know this morning. Um, hold on. 
I know this oh, okay. I know this morning that um my um what I'm trying to say. My um I don't lost my train of thought, y'all. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yes, good morning, sis Carla. How are you? Blessings to you. Good morning to you. Yes, fire stick. Thank you. Hey, Wanda. She came in here. She's like, that's what it is, the fire stick. Yes, the fire stick. If you have the fire stick, <laughs> you can be able to um watch it. I think it's prime, um, showtime prime or something like that. But yes, I heard people who have the fire stick could watch it. And good morning to you. Blessings to you as well. Thank you, my sister. You are so welcome, my sister. You're so welcome. Hey, I was wondering about you, my beautiful Cody, OVW. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. I know you're probably tired. Hmm. I know the Lord is your strength, though. He is your strength, and he is with you. Hold on real quick. Somebody, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me, um send this link out real quick and then I'm going to start my prayer hold on let me get this over here and send this out real quick I'm sorry hold on y'all okay All right, so I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> she said, um, literally, I just woke up. Chrissy, I am not. <laughs> oh, sis. I figured you was not that sleep. I was like, you over there getting your Z's on. Um, she said, oh, let me get up. Yeah, I didn't get in the bed to about, what, six, I believe. After six, actually, this morning. But thank the Lord. He got us up, right, sis? He got us up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got a little time to get yourself together before you go live. So praise the Lord for that, because that's been time you had to jump up. Like, <laughs> I need healing in my body. Also, I put in an application for an apartment so I can be closer to my sister because I help her out. She can't do a lot of things. Please pray God's favor so I can get in there. Amen. Yes, sis, I will be praying for you. I will be praying, Sister T. I have added you to my prayer journal as well. Go ahead, Sister Diana. You be putting them names on there. Thank you. I appreciate you for adding our names. I really do appreciate all the prayers. Such a blessing. But yes. I will. I will definitely be praying. I definitely be praying for you both and everyone here. Thank you all 10 that are here. Thank you all for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Yes, I was going to say that Lena got her book and how about she just got it. She just got it. Mm -hmm. Went to bed at 6 a.m. Me too. <laughs> so you understand, sis. Yes, yeah, 6 a.m. your time and 6 a.m. my time. But yes, um, she literally just got her book. <laughs> oh, thanks. So sweet of you. Yes, that is sweet. So sweet. She is such a sweetheart. Blessings to everyone. Hallelujah. All right. So I'm about to go into prayer. And if any other prayer requests, just put them down here and I will be praying. Father God, Yah, I Elohim in your son's name, Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach. We come before you this day, Lord. And Lord, we want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, Lord, because as we said, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Because, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, for your strength, Lord. Because, Lord, it's only by your strength, your mercy, and your grace that we can go on. 
And Lord, we're so grateful, Lord Jesus, for keeping us. Lord, you said that if we call unto you, that you will answer us and you will show us great and mighty things, which we know is not. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will, Lord, do this for us, Lord Jesus. We cry out. We call out to you, Father. We want you, Lord, to show us things that we haven't seen before, Father. We pray, Lord, that you will keep us, Lord. Keep our mind stayed on you, Father. Help us, Lord, to live a life that is holy unto you. For you said, be ye holy, for I am holy. Lord, right now, Lord, we come before you, Lord, with open hearts, Lord. Lord, we repent, Lord, of our sins, Lord. We repent, Lord, of our unrighteousness, Lord, when we fall short, Lord. Forgive us, Father. Help us, Lord Jesus. Build us up, Father. Help us, Lord, in areas where we are weak. Because you said when we are weak that you are strong. We need your strength today, Lord Jesus. Your strength is perfect, Lord, in our weakness, Father. Father, we thank you for that right now, Father. Father, keep our minds, Father. Forgive us, Lord, when we start thinking thoughts that's not of you. When doubts start entering our mind. When wrong things start coming in our minds lustful thoughts start coming in our minds we come against those thoughts that are not of you in the name of jesus the blood of jesus against anything that is not of the lord that try to enter into our minds we know that the enemy would try to plant little things in our minds but thank you lord for the helmet of salvation father we want to continue to be in right standing with you help us lord to continue to quote the scriptures lord help us lord to truly hide your word in our heart lord because lord that'll help us from sinning against you because we can pull up those scriptures lord that sword lord that will pierce through bone and marrow father help us lord to continue to think on you daily father lord help us where areas where we fall short lord lord when we're lazy in our walk with you lord jesus when we're lazy lord in our mind father when we're not thinking on you when we're allowing the enemy to just play around in our minds Father, please, Lord, help us, Lord, to keep that armor on, shielded tight. We want, we don't want to give him a, even a little crack, Lord. Lord, we don't want to give him any space to do any harm to our mind, to our bodies. Well, Father, we want to give you all access. Holy Spirit, you have all access to rule and reign and have your way. Holy Spirit, use us in these last days. Help us, Lord, to stay broken before you, Father. Help us, Lord, to stay usable, Father. Lord, we are the, you are the potter and we are the clay. We want you to mold us, Father. We want you to make us, build us up, strengthen us, Father, as only you know how, Lord Jesus. Lord, we are just so grateful, Lord. Lord, Lord, we just love you. We bless you, Lord, because you're so worthy. And we know there's no one like you, Lord Jesus. We pray, Father, that you will help us, Lord, to live and be holy, for you are holy, Father. Father, we ask, Lord, that you would just deal with us, Lord, or as only you know how to deal with us, Father. Father, we pray, Lord Jesus, that, Lord, you will show us errors, Lord, in our walk, Father. Every day, Lord, is our goal to draw closer and closer to you. Every day, Lord, is our goal to put away childish things, put away things, Lord, that do not please you, Lord. Lord, we know, Lord, that your strength is so perfect, Lord. Lord, we know, Lord, that as your words said, Lord, that our soul melted for heaviness, but we know, Lord, that you strengthen us, Lord, according unto thy word. But Lord, we have to be strengthened by thy word, and we want your word to strengthen us in every area of our life, Father. Anywhere we feel weak, Lord, we want your word to strengthen us in those areas, Lord, and we just thank you right now, Lord Jesus. We thank you right now, Father, for your goodness and your mercy and your grace. Every day you pour down mercies upon us. Every day your grace is on us. And Father, we don't want to take it for granted, Lord. So Lord, we ask that you continue to open up our eyes. Lord, where we're blinded, Father, we ask you open up these spiritual eyes, Father, and let us see, Father. Help us, Lord, to put away things that are not pleasing to you, Father. Help us, Lord, to put away things, Lord, that are 
please this flesh that will uplift this flesh, Father. Help us, Lord, to start walking more in the spiritual realm. Because, Lord, we know we are in the last days and we don't have time to play games. We come against the spirit of lust. We come against any spirit that is not of you, those demonic spirits that try to jump upon our loved ones, our families, our children, even on us, Father. We come against those spirits because the enemy knows our weakness. Whatever it is that where we're weak at, he will try to attack those areas, Father. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that where we're weak, Lord, you continue to be strong, Father. Help us, Lord, to build up our spiritual man with fasting and prayer and studying the word of Yah, our Elohim, our everything. Father, we thank you. And you're so good, Father. We lift up our sister, T, Tiara, Lord. We lift her up, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord, that you will be her strength, Father, as she continue to go on, as she prays and intercedes for her husband, Father. Build her back up, Lord Jesus. Be her strength in the home. Continue to do her job as a mother, as a wife as a sister, as a believer in the most high. Father, help her, Lord, in every area of her life, Father. Touch her husband, Father. Father, Lord, lead and guide him into all truth. Lord, what he needs to do, Father, you know what he needs to do, Father. Father, as he's carrying on in this journey, Lord, on this job, Father, you have him there for a reason. Father, as he there, Lord, help him, Lord, to do all things as he does unto Christ. Not doing it unto man, not doing it for his boss, not doing it for any other reason but unto you, Father knowing that you are being pleased and glorified. And Father, as you lead him, Father, show him where to go, Father. Show him the right job. Show him, Lord, lead and guide him. Be, Lord, let your word be that light unto his pathway and a guide unto his feet, Lord Jesus. Help him, Father, to get on his knees and truly pray and seek your face, Lord. As you lead and guide him, Lord, help him to continue to be that head of the home that you have called him to be, Father. And we pray the same thing for our husbands, those that have husbands on the line right now, and those that are praying for husbands. We pray the same thing, Father, as you lead and guide them, Lord Jesus. Lord, direct them, Lord, to what to do. Lord, speak through his mouth, Father. Use him on that job. Somebody on that job may need him right now, Father. Lord, help him, Lord, to seek your face. Help him, Lord, to know what to say. Lord, have your way in his life. Help him, Lord, to lead and guide his family into all truth as you lead and guide him into all truth. As Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Help us, Lord, to follow our husbands as they follow Christ, Lord Jesus. Build them up in your word, Father, and strengthen them up in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way. We come against anything that's not of you that try to come upon our husbands in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. As my, as uh, Michael said, the Lord God rebuke you, Satan. Yes, Lord, the Lord God rebuke rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for just being there for our sister and working it all out in the name of Jesus. And Lord Jesus, we pray right now, Lord Jesus, that you will help, Lord Jesus. Help our sister Lena, Lord. Lord, be her strength, Father. We thank you, Lord, for healing in our body from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your healing, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for touching her. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that she have her book that she can go in and she can just read the scriptures as you bless her with your word, Father. Lord, and she blesses you with her prayers, Father. 
Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will continue to strengthen her faith, Lord, knowing that, Lord Jesus, that she has faith and she knows that she is healed, that you have her, that she is covered. She is built up in you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for working all things out for her good, Father. Thank you, Lord, for healing her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Father, thank you, Lord, for being her strength and being there for her, Lord Jesus. Lord, continue, Lord, to help her to draw closer to you and building her up in you father and lord i pray lord that you will work things out lord jesus lord if it if it be thy will father with this application that she put in father that you will work it out for her to get this place lord jesus lord that you will touch the hearts and the mind of those that are going over the application father that lord jesus lord you said that you hold the king's heart in your hand and you could turn it whichever way you want so father if it be thy will father that you will turn favor upon her lord jesus so she can be a helper to her sister lord lord continue to use her she helps her sister father but lord if it not be thy will for her to be there lord we trust you lord that you have another place that's even better than that one lord for her to be so she can be closer to her sister and be a help to her sister lord and lord that you will continue to touch her sister father continue to build her sister faith lord touch her body touch her mind lord continue to have your way in their lives on this day we trust you father we know lord that you can do the impossible we know lord that your will shall be done in their lives this day and forever hallelujah thank you jesus father we just bless you on today father lord we pray lord for everyone that is here we pray lord that you lord jesus will continue to work all things out for our good and for everyone good that is here today father father have your way father bless those lord that are working right now thank you lord that we have sister gwen here she's working lord have your way lord bless our lord as she's working as she's continually lord listening father we pray lord for her strength her healing and her body lord we thank you lord that she continue to praise you and bless you no matter what's going on with her body father we pray lord that you will continue lord to touch lord everyone lord that are here on this live right now lord and those that was here earlier lord we pray that your strength be perfect in their lives father those lord that are weak in their faith we pray lord that they will get in their word and build their faith up lord jesus father because we want to be that wise virgins with our lamps full with oil father Lord, help us, Lord Jesus, to be that you have called us to be, Father. Father, we pray, Lord, that each and every last one of them that are here, Father, that, Father, those that don't know you, Father, that are here, Father, we pray, Lord, that they would get to know you. Your word said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. You are good. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray, Lord, that they have tasted and seen. And, Lord, that they, Lord, will dedicate their whole lives to you, Father. That, Lord, they will prostrate their their, their, father, their life, Lord. They will prostrate themselves before you. And, Lord, they will have a broken and contrite spirit. That, Lord, you said you will not despise that. You will take them in, Father. Father, just reveal yourself to so many people that don't know you, Father show them that you're real father show them lord that every day as they breathe that is your breath father show them lord jesus that is you that woke them up not that alarm clock father show them lord that is you that's giving them that strength father and lord we just thank you on today father we ask that you will have your way that you will build us up father and lord we just thank you lord because you're so worthy you so worthy, Father. Continue with your hand, your protection over us, over our families, Lord, over our men, Father. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will deal, Lord, with the spirit, Lord, of racism. We come against that spirit right now that falls upon, it can fall upon all men. We come against that spirit. We pray against that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray, Lord, that you will, Lord, deal with those, Lord, that are living a life of sin, those that are out there, Lord, that just destroying the city, going out there and riding and 
just doing all kind of mess. I don't care what kind of excuse people will come up for the reason why they feel it's okay for them to do it. Father, we don't repay evil with evil. Father, we pray, Lord Jesus, you will deal with the youth. So many of the youth went out there and just did what they did. But, Father, we know who is behind it all. We know that it's the enemy that is behind all of this. No matter all the things that we see, no matter all the things that's being orchestrated behind the scenes, the enemy Satan is behind it all. He is jumping in people, jumping on so many people and having them, having them to say all manners of things and doing all manners of things. But we come against that spirit, that KKK spirit, the guy who was in Virginia that ran, I believe he ran over the crowd of people or try to run them over, whatever the situation is, Father. Father, we pray for the soul of that man. We pray because he is being used by the enemy. We pray for these people. We pray for so many that this spirit do not jump on us because it is easy for that spirit to jump on you when you're seeing all manners of unequality, things that are being done out here. The, the killings and the hate but you know what lord we know what to do we get on our knees and we pray we pray for salvation for these people we pray lord for true soul salvation father we pray for deliverance we pray lord that you will have your way because lord we already know that it's not going to get better it's going to get worse and we pray lord that lord eyes will be open in these last days that people will see i need the lord i need to repent get on my knees those backsliders come back to the lord get it right repent you lukewarm christian get out of your state of lukewarmness be bold for jesus repent of that because that is a sin because the lord he said i will spew you out of my mouth I can't stand it. He can't stand lukewarmness. You either going to be hot or you're going to be cold. And I want to be on fire for you, Jesus. I want you to use me in a mighty way. How many of you want to be on fire for the Lord? Allow the Lord to use you. Allow the Lord to have his way. In the name of Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach. Lord, we pray, Lord, against that spirit. We pray, Lord, for those, Lord, that are still be dealing with the COVID. I saw this morning that a prayer was asked for Picky Dale. So I believe the guy has COVID. Lord, we pray, Lord Jesus, for him. We pray, Lord, for those that are dealing with this virus with this sickness, Lord. We pray, Lord, for, that you will touch, Father. Number one, Lord, we pray for true salvation. We pray for true salvation for so many, Lord, that are dealing with this illness or any other illness, cancer, diabetes, that are on their sick bed right now. We pray for these people right now, Father, and we pray for true salvation. We pray, Lord, pray for um, the amazing Sylvia, her, her sister, Lord, we pray for her while she's laying there and the doctors are saying there's nothing else we can do. We're praying for so many of them, Lord Jesus. You know who they are. You know their situations, Father. We pray for salvation, that, Lord, they will evaluate their life and realize, I need the Lord. I need Jesus. I turn away from my sins. Lord, give them, Lord, brokenness. That's what they need is brokenness, Father. As they come before you, repenting, Father. And Father, we know, Lord, that you are a healer. You say, I am the Yah that healeth thee. You can do the impossible. And if it be thy will, Father, you will heal. Picky Dale, the amazing Sylvia's sister. And so many others that are laying on their deathbed or they are laying there sick in ailment of cancer and diabetes. That, Lord, you can perform a miracle. Lord, you can do it naturally or supernaturally, Father. However you do it, Lord, we know that you can do it. And if you don't, Father, help them continue to walk by faith knowing that, Lord, 
If it be thy will, you will heal them. But if it don't be your will for them to heal them, that Lord, they will have security enough to know that it is their time to move over in glory. And they will have that peace which surpasses all understanding because, Lord, they know that they are in right standing with you. Well, Father, we pray. We pray for so many, Lord, that they will be in right standing with you and they will repent and they will dedicate the rest of their lives unto you. You know, Lord, you have an appointed time for every last one of us. And Lord, we don't want to waste that time on foolish things. We don't want to be judged by wasting our time on things that do not please you, Father. So, Father, we thank you right now. We bless you right now, Father. We thank you right now, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus. Cleanse us, Lord Jesus, of all unrighteousness. Things that are not pleasing, cleanse us of those things and help us, Lord, to do your will. Help us, Lord, to do your will. As we say, not my will, but thy will be done. And when we say that, Lord, we don't want to give lip service when we say that. We want to mean it with our whole hearts, with our whole hearts. Help us to not lean to our own understanding, but help us to lean on Jesus Christ and allow you to do the work in us. Do the work in us, Lord. And as we say this, Lord, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, Lord, it's easy to say it. It's easier to say it. But Lord, as we say it, help us to truly walk by faith that whatever we go through, Lord, that you are carrying us through it. And we thank you right now, Father, and we bless you. And we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Yahshua Hamashiach's name, Jesus Christ, may we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for all of y'all that are here. Blessings to y'all. Thank you, Jesus. I know it's almost time to get go over to our sister's channel, One Virtuous Woman. Blessings. I want to um greet everyone that is here. Hey, sis NHK. Not your hair, Chronicles. How you doing, sis? Good afternoon, Sister Vita. Destiny awaits me. Thank you for coming in here. Thank y'all so much. Blessings to y'all. Hey, Shawana's Creative Circle. Thank you for coming in here. Blessings to you. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you all for coming in here. Yes, Lord, keep our minds. Amen, Diana. Amen. Yes, Father, help. Yes. Colossians 3 and 23. I got to check that out, sis. And you can put numbers in my chat. I don't mind. I do not mind. You put in numbers in my chat. Colossians 3. She said, what, 3 and 23? Hold on. Let's see what this says. Colossians 3, 23. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen, sis. That's right. Everything we do, as I said in the prayer, thank you for sharing that. Amen. We want to do it unto the Lord. Amen. Because when we do it unto the Lord, it is blessed. We're not like, I'm not doing it for man. I'm doing it unto the Lord. And I want him to be glorified. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you do and have done for us. Can somebody drop sis OVW, one of the mods? Drop one virtuous woman's link in the chat for me, please. I would appreciate it as I go through the through the chat. Yes. Um, hey HD, how are you? Blessings to you. Thank you for coming in here. I am so grateful for you. Hey, Sister Chandra, how are you? Blessings, sis. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It is so, it is so. 
Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you for this job, God. Yes, thank him in advance, Sister um, T. We thank the Lord for the job that the Lord has for him. And we thank him for the job that he's at now as he continue to use him until he's ready to move into the next job. Hallelujah. I know we've been there. My husband's been there in that situation. And I just thank the Lord, you know, for what he's doing, even though what he had to go through, it was rough. Maybe one day I might share the testimony about it, but oh, but the Lord is good. He's still good as he's bringing us through this. God, you are so good. Amen, Carla. Yes, he is. Bless your holy and righteous name, God. Amen. Yes, amen. Yes, Matthew 18, 19. We ask you, Father, in Jesus' name, where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am. Here today, there are two. Here today, there are two or more of us here in agreement. Amen. Yes, we are together in agreement, and He is in the midst of us. Oh my goodness, so worthy. He is in the midst. Satan, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Yes, the Lord Yah rebuke you, Satan. You are already rebuked. Hey, my sister Jess, how are you? Yes, blessings. Thank you for being here. I was talking about you earlier, just how the Lord just touched you and got you through surgery. And hopefully you can share that. I didn't go into detail. So um, hopefully you can share that. So thank you, Jesus, for touching your body as he continued to touch you and just working all things out in your body. He is so good and he is such a protector. Hallelujah. Amen, Lord Jesus. Yes, yes. Prayer changes things. Amen. Oh, you're fine, sis. Don't worry about being late. Thank you for being here. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I repent of my sins so the Lord can continue to be my Lord and Savior. Use me, Father. Yes. Use us, Father. It's a song that my children like to listen to. It says, use me. Jesus, use me. Take this life of mine and use me. Use me. Jesus, use me. Take this heart of mine and use me. And it goes into, yes, my children love that song. They have like the little DVD and stuff. It's beautiful. Yes, Lord, use me for your will and glory. I repent of all things that I've done that I didn't please, that didn't please you, my Heavenly Father. Amen. Help all of us here in this chat to be the women you have called us to be, that we will be your mouthpiece in this wicked world, Lord Jesus. Amen, Lena. Yes, Lord, use us in these last days, Lord. Help us to stay in order as women, as you have called us to stay in order according to the word and be used, Lord Jesus, in these last days. Amen. Thank you for that, Sister Lena. Amen. Yes, Lord, I repent of my sin so the Lord Jesus can continue to be my Lord and Savior and continue to use me, Lord, to help others come to you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Use us, Lord, in these last and evil days. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hey, Miss Marion. How you doing? Thank you for coming in here. Blessings to you. Thank you for the email. I have to read it. I didn't get to read it good. But blessings to you. I'm so glad to see you here. Thank you, Jesus. He's so worthy. Amen. Bless you, my sisters. Lovely prayer. Hallelujah. Bless you, my sisters. Thank y'all for coming in. We about to move over to our sister, One Virtuous Woman. Please go over there and as we continue to bless the Lord, all our soul and all that is within us. I love you, ladies. This is the OVW prayer link right here and um, the channel. Thank y'all so much for sharing the link. But y'all have a blessed day. I love y'all so much. I pray the Lord will continue to touch my body. All glory to God. I will share. I have it written down to make a video. Amen, sis. 
I'm so excited. I can't wait till you share. And yes, I've been praying for your body. Y'all continue to keep our sister just lifted up. That the Lord will continue to touch our body. By his stripes, you are totally healed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, so we about to go over to our sister, One Virtuous Woman. And y'all be blessed. I love y'all. And y'all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. And I do too. So click that link. We're going over right now. Love y'all.